we have the top five prettiest queen sacrifices for mate. Okay, here we go. This game right here, this is Nikolay Valerovich with the white pieces versus an unknown player in 1887, long time ago. Let's check this out. All right, last move here was actually uh, king to g3. So after king to g3 attacks the knight, the knight is hanging. Of course, there's a chaos position going on right now. And knight takes g2 happens. The best move was actually queen takes g2, giving up the knight and then playing queen takes e4. But it's very wild as you see one, two, three, four pieces for white. But he's also on the attack here. Whose king is safe? Like what is going on in this position? The unknown player chooses knight takes g2. Okay, knight takes g2 happens on the board. Um, maybe we have some, some ideas with queen to g1. Move the knight even to e1 and maybe go queen g2 and get the knight back around to f3. So what does uh, your solve do? Knight f5. Move the knight back to f5. Maybe we have a knight h6 check. Let's keep that in mind. Of course, we're trying to mate, but we don't have it yet. The rook is also hanging um, as well. All right. Black goes with knight e1. Going with the plan. Right. We want to go queen to g2. Maybe queen f3. If the king goes here, that's actually leading to mate. And if king h4, we have a knight f3. And then king h5. And we may be mating there too as well with queen takes h3. Lots of ideas. So we're going for it, says black here, the unknown player. Now, it is right to move here. It says the five prettiest queen sacrifices for mate. Not just a queen sacrifice. For mate. Okay. So it's right to move here. What do you do? Pause the video. If you need it, it's right to move. Okay. Here's the move. Let's work backwards first. If knight h6 check, he goes king to h8. After king h8, we can just take the rook. But again, we looked at that line with the queen g2. It's going to be leading to mate. Uh, not looking too good there, right? We'll be in trouble. So after knight h6, we don't really have a check besides knight to f7. Hmm. So the move here is, well, of course, the saying goes is if you can sack your queen, then you'll do it. Queen g5, get him off the board. Oh, my goodness. Look at this move. Queen g5, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, well, what are you talking about? It's a queen sacrifice. Queen g5, check. Wow, if he moves the king, then he's getting absolutely made it on the board, getting off the board. King f7, same way. Queen g7. King E8, Queen E7, mate. Get him off the board. Okay, Queen G5, check. Well, got to take it. He takes it back. And now what? Pause the video if you need to. What is the move you make now? Two move sequence here, starting with what? The move here is Knight H6. Great job. Clap it up. Okay. Yes, there we are. And now after King H8, why was Queen G5 important? Can anyone tell me? Raise your hand, please. Thank you. Put it in the comments if you saw this. What is the move? It should be very simple for you to find. The move is bishop b2. And what do you do? You resign. That's what this is. Bishop b2 is leading to mate. Oh, my goodness. Two knights and the bishop lead to checkmate. That is pretty sick. After bishop b2 check, of course, the only way to block it is rook f6. And after rook f6, bishop takes f6 and checkmate. Have you ever seen a pattern like that? Woo-wee! That's a pretty one. That's a sacrifice. This was number five. Let's move to number four. Here we are with number four. This is Werner Stern versus Gregory Konstantinovich Senekoev in 1994. Okay, so let's get in this position here. We have a uh, white to move. White goes rook to e1. That's Werner Stern. And Gregory here with the black pieces is under fire. His queen is actually under attack. Now, this came from a Nidorf Sicilian for you Nidorf fans out there. It was actually a Sozin attack. Very strong game here if you want to check it out. Rook to e1, um, threatening the queen. The queen moves out of the way, threatening checkmate on h2. How do we defend it? By g3 or rook to h3. Um, Werner Stone chooses rook to h3, defending the pawn. And now here comes the combination. It's black to move. Where do you move? Pause the video if you need to, of course, but this is a very cool move. It's black to move. Where do you go? Here it is. If you said queen h2, you are wrong. That is not the move. Get him off the board. Start a new game, right? It doesn't work, right? Oh, you're like, oh, man, check. Oh, queen sack, right? Remember five prettiest queen sacrifices for checkmate oh great you know sacrifice the queen can't he right and then play bishop b6 oh man great job clap it up rook e3 is made oh my goodness you are doing your puzzles aren't you or not because after queen takes b6 you can resign real awkward stare well, let's get back to it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So you need a move before the move. If you know what I mean here, try again. Pause the video if you need to. If you found this move, though, you are 100% correct. The move is rook a1. And he's done. Wow, what a move. Oh, that's sick. 
That's sick. So you're telling me he sacked a rook and then a queen? Is that what you're saying? Well, let's just keep looking. After rook to a1, well, the rook actually is not defended. So after the queen takes rook, well, first off, if the queen moves away, there is maybe some rook e. Um, e1 ideas, obviously, and the queen can go to e4, but then there's a rook to d1 and there's some other stuff. But uh, in the game, Werner Stern was like, what is this? I don't see it. 2495, by the way. Queen takes h uh, a1. He takes the rook and calls the bluff. Well... I showed you a combination before. What is that combination? Is black to move here? What do you do? Pause the video if you need to, but here's the move. And now, queen h2, and what do you do? There it is, queen h2 check. Now it works because the queen is not on b1 anymore that can attack uh, the bishop on b6 when we go through that line again. What is that line? After queen h2, forcing um, the rook takes h2, rook takes h2, knight goes to g3 with check, forcing king to g1. After king to g1, there's bishop check, and the queen is on a1 now and not b1. What a deflection tactic. And now there's a check, and after rook to e3, bishop takes e3, check and mate, getting off the board. That was beautiful. Rook sack, then the queen sack, then mate. That was great. This was number four. Let's move to number three. Okay, guys, here we are with number three. This one is David Janowski. Oh, yeah, that guy. Absolutely. You know him from the Janowski Queen's Game of Declines and all that other stuff. Janowski variations. David Janowski versus Frederick Samus. That's right. This guy from the Samus. Samus this. Samus King's Indian. Samus variations, right? So this is a pretty cool game here from 1925. David Janowski, white pieces. Frederick Samish with the black pieces. Okay, black to move here. What happened was knight takes e5 here from Frederick Samish. Okay, knight takes e5. Lots of stuff going on. This came from a Torre attack. Actually, rook lifted up here to h3. The king's in the center. There's some type of attack with the bishops here. What is actually going on? Believe it or not, it's an equal position. Like, doesn't look that equal at all, but it says it's quite equal. Okay, so with that being said, after knight takes e5, we go knight takes e5 right back after the knight takes e5. There's a D takes E5. Pretty easy, right? We're going to take this back. And then Bishop takes E5. Okay, hitting the Queen and also maybe some G7 here. This is scary. Rook to G3. What is this? Whoa. Frederick Samus is like, wait, who is attacking who? But your King's in the center. But your King's down the E file. So, like, if I could, like, you know, maybe get a Rook to the file with a smile here. Rook E8 and Bishop D6, you're in trouble. Your King's is in the center of the board. So... Frederick Samus says, I'm just going to block it. Bishop to d6. Makes total sense. You got to do something with the bishop, right? Or, you know, rookie 8 is coming. F4, we maybe have an F6 or rookie 8. Like, it's coming. You know that we're right here. We're this close to closing in on David Janowski, says Frederick Samus. But it is white to move here. And white can play a spectacular move. But it is up to you to find that move. It's white to move. What do you do? Pause the video if you need to. What did David Janowski do in this position? Here we go, guys. All right. So there's a lot of problems. Bishop, of course, is, is hanging. We have to defend it. Or we have to do something about this right now. We got the bishops pointing. I mean, if we go like rook g3, he's going to take the bishop, right? If we move the bishop, there's a rook e8, okay? Queen g5, he takes it. Queen g3, he takes it. So what do we do? Remember, this was queen sacrifices, right? Hmm. So maybe what? Queen b6. That sacrifices the queen, right? Come on now. That doesn't work. Queen b6 is not the move. But if you look to the other side of the board and go queen h6, queen h6, queen h6 oh my goodness i looked at this and immediately my first reaction of this game was just like oh my goodness right this is a family channel get this off the screen like what is this move queen h6 is disgusting right queen h7 is check and mate oh my goodness this is gross right after bishop takes e5 queen h7 mate if you take the queen what a mate like what is this rook g3 mate when have you ever seen that checkmate wow hopefully you guys get some games like this or be able to play moves like this in your own games that move is absolutely sickening wow Woo wee okay so now now and this the game ended right here but just to show you of course the best move here is, F, is actually f6 but the game ended right here resignation and just says best moves are f6 or take the queen take c3 so after f6 f6 okay queen h7 king f7 and then after king f7, you have bishop d6, right? And if, if a queen d6 here, you have trouble with bishop c4 check. And like the king's just running out. Bishop c4, bishop d5, 
right? It's definitely a move here. You also have queen takes h5 check and then attacking a bishop here twice. It's decisive material loss. The rook can come to this way uh, to e1, uh, e3, and the other one to d1. In many cases, this game is just over. So there was a resignation after queen to h6. No more game. David Janowski was doing puzzle rush before there was a puzzle rush. Wow. That was number three. Let's move on to number two. Here we are with number two. This one's from 1910. Richard Reddy, yes, the Reddy opening versus Savili Tartakower. Quick story, there was actually a scene about this in the Queen's Gambit where Elizabeth beat the teacher, Mr. Gann. So if you guys remember that, of course, this position was there, right? That's, that scene was there. So pretty cool. All right, now what happened here, this was a, a Carol Khan, a classical variation actually with an early queen to D3 and there was an E5 move that happened uh, afterwards. After E5, there was a D takes E5, hence the pawn on E5, and now it's black to move. So Tartakower goes, queen A5 check. Let me pick up that pawn and it's a check here. Uh, so Richard Reddy says, cool, bishop B2, attack the queen. You can have your pawn back, right? Queen takes E5, hits the knight, very historical position. The move here by Richard Reddy is castles. Whoa, wait a second. Your knight's hanging. Hey, relax, my guy. That is hanging. Okay, the knight is hanging. So, of course, he's like, whoa, oh, queen takes? Ha, you ain't about to get, ha, uh, ha, ha, uh, ha, ha. Rook E1 and like, yeah, you ain't about to get me, says Tartakower. So he takes with the knight. Knight takes E4. Well, it's not going to be a good knight. You know, have a good day and have a good night, right? Night, night. It's not going to be a good night. It's game over. Good night. White to move. What did Richard Reddy do in this position? Here's the move, guys. Queen sacrifice. Queen d8. Oh, my goodness. It's so nice to make a move like this. Queen d8. Game over. Check. Right? Okay, cool. He has to take it. And after king takes d8, we go bishop to g5 check. Now, if you go bishop a5, it actually doesn't work at all. You lose on the spot. I just move the king to e7, and I'm running out. But bishop g5 forces the king to go to two squares. You either have king c7 or king e8. King e8 lose, uh, leads to rook to d8 checkmate. And if king to c7, which was played in the game, you have this beautiful checkmate. Bishop to d8 check and mate get the man off the board what a move what a queen sacrifice of course that was number two and now let's move to number one here we are with number one of our prettiest queen sacrifices for mate and we cannot leave this without looking at this one right here okay this is magnus carlson versus sergey karyaka in 2016 now quick note about this one is this queen sacrifice was able to make carlson a world champion for the third time right third time world champion after this queen sacrifice right here okay it's black to move first sergey karyaka actually plays rook a2 check whoa wait a second Who's attacking who right now? What is going on? If I go king f1, you're done. Okay, queen f2 and mate and we great. Get him off the board. King h1, I tuck and roll here. Of course, a f h2 is defended by the queen, so you can't take this. I mean, you can, but we'll just take it back, right? And the queen is actually, we're threatening to trade queens right now. Okay, cool. Curry Yakin says, with my queen, queen f2. I'm going to play queen g2 checkmate, right? Who is attacking who? Now, you can go very defensive with rook to g1 right here, but Carlson says I'm going to go a little bit more aggressive because I'm winning. After rook c8 check, if bishop f8 decisive material loss and then maybe just completely lose it, in fact, it's a maiden 7 due to the engine, right? But you have to find it, but bishop here, is it leads with rook takes, rook takes f7, then you're going to check again, and you're going to check around here and probably check there and then get the rook involved. And then you end up checkmating them, right? So so he saw this. Sergey Karyakin saw this. He says, oh, no, you're not about to do me like this on national television. So he goes, king h7 right and gets out the way and have a nice day now of course this is the one that you've seen many times if you haven't well this is your first time seeing it pretty cool spectacular queen sacrifice wait it's here it's right here it's right now magnus was able to become the world champion for the third time in 2016 after this move right here it is white to move what do you do in this position here it is, right? Now, if it was me and, you know, world champion, I would play the move and then just stand up and flex. Ah, but you can't do that because it's not that kind of event. So the move here is queen h6. Ah, I'm world champ again, right? Ah, queen h6. I am world champion again, says Magnus Carlsen. After queen h6 check, what is queen sacrifice? It can be captured by two pieces. 
but both of them lead to check and mate. After pawn takes, we have rook f7 mate. Beautiful because of the pawn and the rook here on the back rank. Oh my goodness, this is gross. Get that off the screen. We got kids watching this. After king takes, it's the same thing. Rook h8, and again, we got kids watching this channel right here. Oh my goodness, that's checkmate and done, right? Beautiful queen sacrifices. That was a five of the prettiest queen sacrifices for mate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did enjoy this, then make sure you watch the videos right after this one, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.